In the Indie Games department, Xbox One has a lot of catching up to do. Its Indie Games program, ID at Xbox, seems to be moving the needle though, with a diverse bunch of cool-looking indies making their way to Xbox One soon. Here are seven to surprise you this year. The Santa Esperanza I was born in was a clean town. A place where it meant something to be a okay, cop. Elliot? Coming right up. Your dad would be proud of you. Until he arrived. Blues and Bullets is an episodic noir detective game in which you play Elliot Ness, the real-life prohibition agent you might remember from the movie The Untouchables or the Tupac Shakur lyrics. In Blues and Bullets, Ness teams up with notorious gangster Al Capone to rescue Capone's kidnapped granddaughter. Weirder things have happened, I guess? Carlo Baccarini? L.A. noir-style detective work appears to be the order of the day in Blues and Bullets, as you investigate crime scenes to gather clues which you can piece together to open up new lines of logic in the pursuit of your conclusion. However, you can also expect shootouts, fistfights and tough choices that change the world and story around you, as well as trying to figure out the appeal of garden gnomes. Yeah, me either. Blues and Bullets look super stylish and the trailer narration gives us an idea of the hard-boiled tone to expect from the final game. I don't know what your game is. I'm not a cop anymore. Episode 1 has a provisional release date of the 15th of May, so not long to wait for this intriguing detective up. I'm a sucker for the look of 1930s style animation, so count me in for Cuphead, a combat platformer by Studio MDHI in which you play the eponymous Cuphead. Think Mickey Mouse with a cup for a head who can shoot fireballs out of his fingers if you weren't already. I usually am. Cuphead was originally due out last year, but now just has a release date of 2015. When a game looks this good though, I am content to wait. Plus, you get to fight what is essentially Bluto from Popeye in a sentient pirate ship. Okay, I take it back about waiting. Hurry up, goddammit! Spectra is a music-based racing game that describes itself as F-Zero meets Audio Surf. In it, you race down colourful neon representations of songs, avoiding roadblocks and collecting cubes in time with the music. The music is by Chipsel, the chiptune composer whose work you might remember from the hypnotically energetic Super Hexagon soundtrack, and there are 10 new Chipsel tracks for you to navigate in the game. Spectra also promises to offer a serious challenge, if we can trust the testimony of someone who can't spell the F-word properly. Beyond Eyes is a beautiful looking game in which you control a blind girl searching for her lost cat through a world that reveals itself through her other senses, touch, sound and smell. Maybe taste too, it doesn't say. What's curious about Beyond Eyes is the way in which the world changes depending on your perception of it. The sound of running water initially appears as a beautiful fountain, for instance, before transforming into a runoff drain when touched. In another example, the sound of flapping fabric manifests as clothes on a line, before a cawing crow reveals the source to be a much more sinister scarecrow. It's a fascinating idea we're keen to dig into when it comes to Xbox One later this year. Caffeine is an intriguing first-person horror game in which you play as a young boy who awakens one day to find himself alone in deep space on a caffeine mining ship. I didn't even know that's how we got caffeine. With no memory of who you are or how you got there, you set out to explore the space station and piece together audio logs, notes and physical evidence to find out what's going on. Then it turns out that you might not be as alone as you thought. Ah, Jesus! One for the Alien Isolation fans, Caffeine is currently down for a mid-2015 release and better not put me off coffee or I'm going to be seriously upset. Capybara Games is the studio that made Super Brothers, Sword and Sorcery and Super Time Force. Their new joint below is a procedurally generated roguelike in a top-down perspective, or in non-boring language, a rock-hard adventure game about exploration, survival and discovery with permadeath and totally random levels. You start the game shipwrecked on a beach. You have a sword and a shield and that's it. 
No one tells you where to go or what to do. All the story and lore you discover as you investigate the world, along with your purpose for being there. Good luck figuring that out while fighting enemies, discovering secrets, and trying to survive when even the smallest hit has a chance of killing you. Below was first announced at the Xbox E3 conference in 2013, so we're confident it'll be out this year. Exactly when this year, we don't know, but watch this space. I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos, and I love it. Fans of bonkers XBLA games will know the behemoth as the developer behind Alien Hominid, Castle Crashers, and the hilarious Battle Block Theatre. I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother, and everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? That's the one. The Behemoth's new game, the imaginatively titled Game 4, returns to the absurd fantasy setting that they last explored in Castle Crashers, so tick, and brings back Stamper as the narrator, so double tick. The world was more hospitable, no doubt. More orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. It's a co-op turn-based adventure that revolves around you positioning troops in the most advantageous position before starting your turn and unleashing hell on enemies such as vampires, robots, and... Cupcake people, says here. No release date as yet, but we'll bring you more as soon as we get it. Exciting, right, Samper? I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Those were seven Xbox One indie games that might take you by surprise in 2015. Except now they won't, because we've told you about them. Try to act surprised, yeah? Let us know which you like the look of in the comments, then like and subscribe for more videos from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching!